Jordan Belford. I'm a former member of the middle class raised by two accountants in a tiny apartment in Bayside, Queens. The year I turned 26, I made $49 million as the head of my own brokerage firm, which really pissed me off because it was three shy of a million a week. My Ferrari is white, like Don Johnson's in Miami Vice. See that humongous estate down there? That's my house. My wife, Naomi, the Duchess of Bay Ridge, a former model and Miller White girl. Yeah, she was the one blowing in the Ferrari, so put your dick back in your pants. In addition to Naomi, my two perfect kids, I own a mansion, private jet, six cars, three horses, two vacation homes, and a 170-foot yacht. I also gamble like a degenerate, drink like a fish, fuck hookers maybe five times a week, and have three different federal agencies looking to indict me. Oh yeah, and I love drugs. Yes, on a daily basis, I take enough drugs to stay clear on my mind. I take quaaludes for my back, 15 to 20 a day. I use Xanax to stay focused, Ambien to sleep, pot to mellow out, cocaine to wake up, and morphine, because it's awesome. But of all the drugs under God's little heaven, there's one that's my absolute favorite. Enough of this shit will make you invincible. Able to conquer the world and eviscerate your enemies. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about this. Money is the oxygen of capitalism, and I want to breathe more than any other human being alive. Money doesn't just buy you a better life. Better food, better cars, better pussy. It also makes you a better person. You can give generously to the church of your choice or the political party. You can save the fucking spot out of money. But most of all, in any country in the world, money can buy you love. With that in mind, at the tender age of 22, after marrying my girlfriend, Teresa, I headed to the only place that could befit my high-minded ambitions. You want to know what money sounds like? Visit a trading floor on Wall Street. Fuck this shit, that cop, cunt, asshole. I couldn't believe how these guys talk to each other. I was hooked within seconds. It was like mainlining adrenaline. For the next six months, I learned the ways of Wall Street. That fall, I passed my Series 7. Finally, it was here. My first day as a stockbroker, a future master of the universe. And as a wise man once told me, my only responsibility was to put meat on the table. Word spread throughout Wall Street. I was becoming a legend. Forbes magazine even called to do a profile on me. A total fucking hatchet job. <clears throat> Jordan Belford, a twisted version of Robin Hood who takes from the rich and gives to himself and his merry band of brokers. Forbes had made me a superstar. Every day, dozens of money crazed kids beat a path to my door with resumes they hadn't even bothered to fucking spell check. If we hired them, they dropped out of college overnight, blew whatever allowance they had on a new suit from our in house tailor. The median age of our brokerage couldn't even get served in the fucking bar down the street. Within months, we doubled in size, moved to even bigger offices. It was a madhouse, a greed fest, with equal parts cocaine, testosterone, and body fluids. The first action you have to take is to decide to be wealthy. <clears throat> when I was 24 years old, I made a decision not to just survive, but to thrive. I started my own stock brokerage firm, developing a system of selling that within a year made me a multi-millionaire. There's nobody stopping you from making millions. There is nobody holding you back from financial freedom. Don't just sit at home or the life of your dreams will sail right fucking past you. I want everybody to look down. See that little black box in front of you? It's called a telephone. Now I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about this telephone. It won't dial the fucking self!